how to install and use GitHub Copilot CLI in VS Code. So as you can see, I've successfully installed it and it's working perfectly fine. And I'm going to show you how you can do the exact same thing. All that you have to do is simply open Visual Studio Code or VS Code. And then from the top menu, simply come and then click on the terminal and then come and select new terminal. Okay. So over here, it is going to open the terminal at your default storage. Okay. Just like this. And then you have to come and then check if you have node installed by typing in node space dash V just like this then you hit enter okay so the version of node that you have installed will show up just like mine so if it doesn't show up then you have to install it so to install it simply go to google and then from google search come and then search for node.js download and then hit enter come and then select the official site of node .js just like this and then click on it it's going to bring you right here to the download option and then over here you can find the latest version of node okay you also have the option to come and then click on the windows the down arrow and then come and then select the operating system that you are using if it is not windows and then come and then click on the installer and then download and then install it that had come here okay and then come and then install GitHub CLI by typing in this, okay? That is winged space install space dash dash IDs space dash github dash cli hit enter and then it's going to load and then it is going to continue with the installation for you okay so over here it will ask you to allow and then agree to their terms of service so simply press y on your keyboard just like this and then hit enter so when you hit enter it is then going to download it okay so it is going to download the installer and then it will install it for you but you have to come and then allow it okay you have to come and then allow it and then as you can see it has successfully installed it so you can come and then check the version by simply typing gh space dash dash version and then hit enter so mostly when you finish installing and then you check the version you you might find this error okay don't worry, there is nothing wrong with it. All that you have to do is that you have to restart the VS code, okay? By simply coming to the close option, you click on it to close it, and then you reopen it again, and then it will automatically open the terminal for you just like this. Then come, come and then check it by simply typing gh space dash dash version, okay? And then you hit enter. And then over here, it is going to show the version of the GitHub that we have installed. So as you can see, we have successfully installed the GitHub CI okay the next thing that we have to do is that we have to come and then log in to authenticate it okay so to log in simply come and then type in gh space authent space login just like this then you hit enter over here you have to come and then select github.com and then hit enter and then come and select the https then hit enter and then over here you have to come and then type y okay on your keyboard and then you hit enter to allow it okay and then over here come and then select login with a web browser and then you hit enter and then that is it over here they will give you your one time code that you have to come and then highlight and then copy it because you are going to use it and then come and click on the link or simply type enter okay it's going to bring you right here to log in with github you put in your email address your your password you click on log in and then you can also choose any of these to log in as well but if you don't have an account at all at first, simply come and then click on create an account. Then you can create an account. So I'm simply going to choose login with Google. It is going to open just like this. And then they will send a login code, okay, right in my email. That I have to go and then copy and then come and paste it right here and then click on verify. So from my email, you see this is the code. I'm simply going to highlight it, copy it, okay. And then come here and then come and paste the code just like this and it's going to verify me okay now you have to come and then select continue okay and come and paste the one time pass word that is the one that they gave us in vs code and then come and then click on continue and then over here you can simply come and then authenticate it so to do it simply come and then click on authorized github and then that is it you are going to be Authorize. So as you can see, congratulations, we are all set. Now, all that you have to do is simply go back to VS Code. Okay, so from here, as you can see, login successful, and we have login into our account.
Now you have to come and then install the GitHub Copilot CLI by simply typing in that is G H space extension space install space GitHub slash G H dash Copilot just like this. You hit enter and it's going to install it for you. So as you can see, it has been installed. You have to come and then check it by simply typing in G H space extension space list. Then you hit enter okay then we are going to find a github copilot cli in it so as you can see we have it right here and then this is the version okay that we have installed so it means that we have successfully installed the github copilot cli okay and now we can call it in our terminal so to always call it simply come and then type gs space copilot and then you simply add the command that you want it to do for you okay but before you'll be able to use it you have to simply go to google and then come and type in github copilot just like this then you hit enter over here from the login simply come and then select a price and plan and pricing okay so when you click on it going to bring right here so over here this is what you can do with the free plan okay so the free plan comes along with this okay and then to use github copilot cli in your terminal so as you can see copilot cli preview and then to use it inside your terminal you have to be a subscriber of any of the paid plan okay so from here without the paid plan you cannot use the github cli copilot inside your terminal or in VS Code. So if you are a paid subscriber, you can simply come and then call it, okay? And then you hit enter and then you add the prompt to it. And then that is it. So this is how to actually use the GitHub CLI Copilot inside VS Code. If you have any questions, leave it in the comment down below, like the video, and then see you in my next video.